Hey yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. We of course are the Soul Brothers. Back to you with some more uh, some more news regarding the LeBron 15. Uh, we, you know, obviously there's some leaks hit. I think those were orchestrated leaks because very soon after they, they unveiled the shoe. But we have uh, an fish, official information. The LeBron 15 has officially been unveiled um, and announced. Yes. Price, 185. Same as last year. Release date, uh, 10, 28, 17. That's in like a month and yeah, a half, I guess. Kinda. Not too long. Um, and the first colorway that's coming out, this kind of like grayish colorway, is called Ashes. Ashes, yeah. If you guys care. Which is and, a sick colorway. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, I think now that from the tech that we can see, $185 is kind of justified. Yeah, they're you know saying, saying it's Nike saying it's their most technically advanced shoe ever. Bullshit. Yeah, but I don't know about that. Um, at least they're using like a premium knit that looks dope. Yeah. And like full length zoom and interact or whatever the fuck they're using. But we will explain all <coughs> that right now. So starting off with the traction, you guys can see the traction. The traction is really cool because I uh, I like how it kind of um, the upper kind of blends into the traction because mm -hmm. like if you guys can see on the lateral side of the knit it has kind of like a weird it kind of like protrudes that, that kind of pattern and yeah. it goes down into the traction pattern mm -hmm. which i think is a little uh, cool touch um to keep it like uh, the same theme or whatever yeah um but the traction looks really good yeah, it looks lie. super aggressive yeah which I, aggressive. I like to see and it's solid yes solid outsole um yeah i feel like the past few drawer um uh, the past few lebrons could have had you know some better traction um they were good they were pretty good, but like, I want to just give me some nasty traction. Yeah, just picked up a lot of dust yeah. too. And yeah, I mean, uh, the traction also is solid, um, solid rubber. Uh, because Nike wanted to, uh, you know, show off their Hexpod, shitty Hexpod zoom units. Yeah. They made the uh, rubber translucent, which was really annoying. Um, but in this model, it looks like it's solid rubber, so which I like. Yeah, and moving on to the cushion, they got rid of those fucking Hexpods, man. Yeah. I was burnt out on those. I know. Um, and yeah, right here. They were never that great. But right here, we, you know, they did not get rid of Zoom. No. And they added some Air Max. Which is Air Max is shit. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I've, I've, you know, like the Audacity's is pretty nice in the heel. I know, but like, Air Max. Uh, basically, okay, so in the heel, it says Zoom and Max, and they're calling it Battle Max, I guess. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, if you combine both of them, that's what they're calling it. And um, basically, what Air Max is, it's just an air bubble. And then you have pillars. Yeah. So it's stable. And then, then zoom is the same thing, except those pillars are tiny, tiny little fibers. Yes. Um, it, which doesn't really make sense, because like, it doesn't... What, it allows it to compress more, the, 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 the small zoom fibers, while still keeping it uh, stable. That's what they're doing, I think, you know? Mm -hmm. The pillars are like super stable, but it doesn't compress that much. No, the pillars don't compress at all. No, but and like if there's areas where there's no pillars, it does compress a little bit. Yeah, but like it's only in the middle, so you're, yeah. you're not going to feel anything really. And, um, and probably in the heel, I guess, a little bit uh, in the audacity, like, like Don said, you can feel a good yeah. um, compression, but it just doesn't feel like a nice foam would. And which is what I would like. Yeah, it's know. a little like it's kind of weird. It's a little mushy. Yes. You know. Okay, so um, it does look hella thick though. So it, it's bottom loaded, so you're probably not gonna feel it on uh, underneath your foot very much. Um, but I, I, I don't know. Yeah, you're probably gonna feel really high off the ground also. Yeah, that's what I'm tripping on. Yeah. So, um, but <clears throat> the good thing is the Air Max is only in the heel. Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't know why they needed to do. Uh, Matt Air Max though. I mean, KD doesn't use that. He just uses full length zoom and he's fine with it. I, guess I think they're really like, trying to push the envelope, yeah. you know, with this shoe and and and, uh, and it's LeBron. He's fucking and it's LeBron. You know, he needs all that shit. Um, so moving on, you know, you got the little baby heel counter. Yeah. So uh, there is no Nike Sushi on this shoe. No. It's only on the heel counter. It looks kind of weird. Uh, the Nike swoosh kind of yeah. looks deformed. Yeah, it does. Um, one of you guys told me, a few of, the, of you guys told me that uh, the battle knit or whatever the knit is called is uh, produced by a different company. That's why Nike can't put the swoosh on it. But I think, I don't think that's nah. true. No, no, no. That's bullshit. That's just a speculation that some of you guys told that me. That doesn't about, sound but, right. Maybe it's but, right. I, that, that, well, that why sounds, would Nike do that though? That's crazy. You know? 
um, but maybe it's true. I don't freaking know. I don't really care. But yeah. um, I do like the clean look of the upper. I mean, every single Nike shoe has a swoosh on it. And, yeah, um, I'm not mad. No uh, logos, you know. Yeah, I like I like no logos. Plain. Yeah, but uh, so I mean, it, it, a brand new knit, and it's cool to see a LeBron with a knit. Um, Finally, you can guess. You could probably uh, assume that it's going to be very supportive. Yes. Which is uh, which is good. It is a one full one buoy upper. Which is a little bit troublesome if you don't have a wide ass foot. Um, yeah, and LeBron did um, design this with uh, Jason Jason Petri mm -hmm. or whatever his name is. I don't know the, the designer that's been designing the LeBron since the LeBron Seven says. Right. So um, you know he said he wanted more of a um, a shoe where you can also rock casually, but they say that every single year. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean I don't know, but yeah. uh, to be honest though, this does look like a good cool uh, pretty cool casual shoe yeah for lebron <clears throat> it's maybe the, the most casual and the be one of the better looking LeBron. Yeah. i think the best looking lebron that i've seen right yeah in a while so far um and is that flywire the, do the laces go through flywire or am i tripping yeah it, it looks yeah, like do. it right yeah. it doesn't go through the upper no so i guess there is flywire um i don't really like that because flywire always snaps um but you know there's that and uh you know in the, in the, in the, what do you call it, where the tongue's supposed to be, it looks like it's a stretchier, thinner yeah. material, which I like. That's good. Um, but... The only thing I'm tripping on, man, is just being super high off the ground and not having good lateral stability. Yes. Um, I feel like a lot of times, sometimes the LeBrons are just, they're high, like the LeBron Soldier 11, um, and, and the lateral stability is not great. Uh, I really hope that's not the case, but... Other than that, I mean, they they went all out on this yes. on this silhouette, man. They're trying to really do something. Hopefully, the fit's good. Though. Yeah, hopefully yeah. the fit's good, um, and just hopefully you're not too high off the ground, you know. But that's it. Uh, just breaking down the um, LeBron 15, and uh, we're definitely gonna cop. We'll do a full performance review, first impressions, all that. Let us know if you guys are gonna cop this shoe. Um, it's 185. It's definitely not cheap. But um, I don't know, you're getting a ton of tech. Uh, that's it, Soul Brothers. We'll catch you in the next one. Later. Peace.